What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. I hate spelling errors. You mix up two letters and your whole one-liner is, is urined. <laughs> yeah. yeah, good times. Good times. Mox Diamond's pretty good. Time Twister's okay, but I mean, like, it's not It's not really power. We all know that. Yawgmoth's will. We could do the storm again. Everybody knows how that works, but I don't want to compete with Time Twister and Yawgmoth's will in the same pack. I kind of just want Mox Diamond here. Keeps us open. Tinker? After taking a Mox Diamond? This is nice. There's also an Inkwell Leviathan in that first pack. I wonder if it's going to come back. But we'll see. Either way, I'm taking Tinker. What do you say to warn your family you're about to test a new dad joke on them? Try this on for size. <laughs> size. I went to a deli and said, I'd like to buy a bagel with cream cheese. The kid behind the counter said, sorry, we only take cash or credit cards. Oh, God. Oh, God. The pain is so real. I don't want to laugh. I really don't. Like, it's, it's so hard. Oh, God. Uh, Metamorph is good. It is an artifact. I like Remand as well. I mean, I think it's between these two. If we were storming, we could easily take a Cabal Ritual here. Due to licensing restrictions, it was effectively illegal to purchase or listen to audiobooks between 1934 and 1948 unless you were registered blind. That's interesting. I didn't even think there would be audiobooks between 1934 and 1948. I think we're going to go with Metamorph here. Typically, a deck like this is tapping out. We're not, like, keeping up counter spells. Thank you! So. Oh, what up, Danny? Really Thank appreciate you. the resub. Kyers appreciate the resub. You guys are amazing. I love you guys. Oh, Mind Slaver. Interesting. Emery. Oh, interesting. I'm going to take the Emery and we're going to try to wheel the Mind Slaver or a Rakdos Signet. All right. I guess we're, we're, we're doing, we're doing mono blue, mono, mono blue, mono brown. Um, you know, Celestia Signet being an off-color Signet, I think I'd rather just have Mana Lake here. Yeah, nothing else is exciting. Yawgmoth's Bargain is the Storm pick. Oh, Thirst for Knowledge? Yes. Let's, let's get thirsty. This is all right so far. Yeah, we were starting with an artifact sub theme. Opposition and opposition agent in the same pack. Impulse. 
I'll take an impulse. Sword of Fire and Ice is fine, but... Uh, high Tide. I'm just gonna take the High Tide because if we're mono blue, <gasps> the Inkwell Leviathan came back. Yogmoss Will came back too. Oh boy, I'm take Forge Master. Ulysses S. Grant was once cast as Desdemona in a production of Othello. Is that really? That's wild. I've drafted Opposition Agent like multiple times and it's never actually paid off. So I'm just going to take Gideon here. A bunch of white cards, man. Oh, man. Thank Dude, you. When you're trying to sell shoes on, on, on Facebook Marketplace... People, the people are fucking exhausting, dude. <gasps> Soul Ring. God, we got to pass the Grim Monolith. Sad. McGim, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. On this day in 1664, New Jersey becomes an English colony. 1664. That's wild. On this day in 1894, Coca Cola is sold in bottles for the first time in a candy store in Vicksburg, Mississippi. 1894. Yeah, I mean, Sol Ring is just the pick. Eh, I'll take Priority. Oh, Treachery? Talarian Academy is going to wheel. I'm calling it now. We're not passing a Treachery in our mono money. blue deck. Oh, one Soul Buck. <laughs> nice. I like it. Hmm, Thousand Year Storm. I think I'm just taking Boros Signet, just a colorless Signet, whatever. I mean, the only other option is like Yorion here. Yeah, Boros Signet's fine. I got soul, but I'm not a soldier. <laughs> Well, this is this pack's taking a bit. I'm trying to uh, someone's trying to buy some cards for me. So I'm trying to write out how much they will be. Uh, is it signet? It's on color at least. It's sad you can't get a double blue signet. What's that about?
<sighs> We're just waiting here. This is. Th I feel like these picks have been taking a while. Am I going? Am I, cra am I crazy? Um, Mirror Battle Sphere. Yeah, Mirror Battle Sphere is great actually, especially when we have Tinker already. Yep. In it to win it. Hold on one second. You have to hold on. I'm not really going anywhere. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm missing one. Oh no. No, I'm not. Okay. Marari conjecture. <laughs> uh if this is the antiquities war, I'd be down, but I don't think this is very good in our deck right now. I guess if we have exactly impulse and preordain. I'll just take Kiki Jiki just in case we end up being red blue instead. I got some. Sundering Titan? Deal. We know what's happening. We know what we're doing. Hmm, Palancron. I don't think we're a Baral deck. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I'll just take Palancron. We have High Tide in the sideboard. Could be infinite mana, right? I'll take an Aleshnorn just in case. More like Thundering Titan, am I right? In the mono blue deck? Yeah, that's not bad. Chandra? Okay. Uh, Banishing Light, sure. Krark. Okay, so nothing really. Talarian Academy did not wheel, and that's kind of sad. Oh boy, fucking Facebook dum-dums. I'm gonna take a Consecrated Sphinx. God, I'm really sad about the Talarian Academy not coming back. That's a, that's a bum-bum. So here's, here's a conversation I just had on Facebook. I have a pair of Yeezys on Facebook for sale. <clears throat> At 175. They've been worn once, and they're selling on StockX for like two fifty. All right, so I'm like, and I have a, an additional pair of reflective laces. So hopefully, maybe some of you guys know what what that is. Um. <laughs> so this dude's like, "Hey, Rangus is available," and I'm like, "Yep." And they're like, "One twenty," and I'm like, "No, I'm good. I'm not gonna sell for you know fifty dollars, fifty five dollars less." And one hundred and thirty dollars less than they retail for, so it doesn't. And I said no. He's like, "What's your lowest, bro?" And I'm like, "One seventy five is more than fair for for their condition and extra laces." I wore them once, and they're basically like new, except for like one scuff on the sole. So I mean, it's just not. It's just in no in no world is it worth uh, the price difference. Um, I was taking Jace. I can see Volcanic Island if we want to play any of these red cards, but I don't think we're gonna need to. Uh, are they the reflective pair? <laughs> so there's like some, some Yeezys are reflective and uh, like when you hit them with light, they actually shine, which is, it's pretty sick and they usually cost like at least 150 more. Um, and so I'm like, no, <laughs> they're not reflective for 175. Like, <laughs> just like such a, I was like, I'm like, nope. And he's like, where are you located? I'll cop depending on how far. Cop, cop is a term you use in the sneaker world mm -hmm. if you're going to get them. Like, hey man, you're going to cop those? It's like, uh, it's like, it's, I don't know. You guys get it. 
And um, so I said, I'm in Aurora. And then I told him where. And he's like, that's hella far. I'll pass. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I mean, it literally says in the auction that they're not reflective. It says, or the, the, the listing, that, that they're not reflective. It says where I'm located. Like, why am I, why? Why are we struggling this hard? Jesus. It's just so exhausting. Um, Basalt Monolith, Demir Signet, also Force of Negation. I would take screenshots of the ad and be like, here you go. You, ch you tell me, buddy. It's just really, it's more like, why are you wasting my time? Like, I don't understand. I'd rather have Demir Signet than Boros Signet. I think I'd rather have Basalt Monolith than anything. I'm I'm hoping there's a metal worker in this pack somewhere. That would be that would just be so so special. Snapcaster. Is Snapcaster good enough for us? Skull Clamp is not. I don't think Snap is either. We have Thirst, Mana Leak, Impulse, and Preordain. Eh, it's just not very good. I mean, I know I'd rather have the polluted delta. Thank you. Steven, welcome back. Thank you for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I think it might be Delta, but I mean, like, the problem is we only get one. I think I'd almost rather have the repeal, to be honest. Like, Delta's not doing us any favors. Yeah, I'll take repeal. Again, creeping tarpit, but like we don't have any, like not only do we not have any black cards to play, like call out the Forge Master is playable. Spellseeker also gets nothing great. I almost kind of want Wasteland. Bro looted Delta. Yeah, I kind of like Wasteland here actually. We're a two color deck. Through the breach. Do you oh Academy Runes? The Mind Slaver didn't come back either. Wow, it's Learning Academy and Mind Slaver didn't come back. I just realized. That's kind of a bum bum. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just take Academy here. Metal worker! Beep, 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 beep. That's that's it. That's the ticket. That's what we're looking for. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten artifacts so far. Oh, I'll take an ancestral vision for sure. Nice. So when we already have Sundering Titan, Inquil Leviathan, and Mere Battlesphere in a deck, we definitely don't need uh Bolas of Citadel, especially when it's a card that if we draw it, we just can't do anything with it. So can you offer a stip? I'll allow it. Trinket Mage, you get a Soul Ring and a Mox Diamond. I really love Duretti and Duretti. I kind of want to take this Duretti here. I think it's actually probably fine. I mean, this is actually really good for us. Being able to sack, like, it's got to be better than the stupid Trinket Mage, right? I'll take Ashen Rider. I'll take a Colonnade. Oh, Goblin Welder, too. Well, now we're talking. I got soul, but I'm not a soldier. This deck looks pretty good. Boros Signet actually, and is it Signet being ways to cast already? That's actually pretty nice. I don't care about repeal. Actually, I kind of like this a lot. Yeah, last pack through the breach. Oh man, you said into the breach? 
It's not even a real card, you nerd. <laughs> Super Fritz, also I got your email, buddy. And it was one of those things where I appreciated it so much that I literally had no idea how to respond. And thank you, and I love you, buddy. It meant it meant the world, dude. Really, really appreciated it. Around the breach, next to the breach, inside the breach, <laughs> on top of the breach. It's everywhere, man. You can be anywhere, anywhere in the in the vicinity of the breach, and you're good to go, you know? This is 23. I wanted to make room for the welder, but I don't really know if we need it. I do like that we have Emery and Thirst to get things in the graveyard. Also, Doretti himself. Do we even need Academy Ruins? I don't think so. I'm going to say 4 and 12. No, 4 and 13. That's how math works. Like, this is 4, plus Mox Diamond is 5, plus Boris Signet, and his Signet is 7 for one red card. I think that's more than reasonable. All right, let's do this. So Someone posted this in a Facebook group, um, the sick deals group. And I've literally, I've, I start like one of the, one of the first sets I actually played competitively was Mirage. And I've never seen this card in my life. Is this real? I've literally never seen this card. Wow, I've never seen or even seen this ability before. That's insane to me. That's so I'm looking I'm like it's actually kind of blowing my mind. I feel like I've seen every card from Raj multiple times in multiple places across my entire life. I'm actually going to keep this hand. Oh, we're playing against hash browns? Shoot. They're delicious. Oh, dear. Like, there's no better hand than the one where you're suspending Ancestral Vision on turn one, aside from the one that you're casting Ancestral Recall on turn one. Okay, well, that's enough islands, I think. I think we're good on the islands. Okay. Okay, let's do that. You think they're going to play something? You think they're going to storm us out soon? Uh, 
Oh, flyers. <laughs> In order of priority, mana fixing, gotta take creatures that are flying, instant sorcery artifacts that give flying images of characters in the air, then whatever. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on, everybody. Jesus. Okay, I got it. I got it listed. All right, don't counter this, bro. Oh my god. Okay, so I think we Sundering Titan and kill two of their lands. I'm no expert, but <sighs> But then if they kill it, then we have to kill one of our own islands. Is that worth it? I don't know. We could get Inqua Leviathan for safety. It's not a coward's dream. Oh, they didn't even float? Oh, boy. Um, I don't want either of these because we no longer have a red source, and I don't... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we bottomed one. That's eight lands in our first 12 cards. Is it Signet, Tinker, Preordain, and um, Duretti were the only four cards we've seen? That's insane. No, Ancestral Vision, rather, because we didn't actually see the Duretti. Man, it's too bad they didn't have that mountain out. But if they want to kill this guy. Man, Tinker and Sundering Titan are hell of a card. Hell, hells, hells of cards. Hells of cards. That's not even a saying. That's not how that works. Get a watery grave. Okay. What do you think the Imperial sealed for? Okay. I'll put an I'll put a land into play, I guess. Okay, you got it. Seems good. Brain freeze? Are you gonna brain freeze yourself? You're gonna brain freeze us. I guess it's on the top. What are you gonna do? I mean, if they play any other spell, we just kill them with Sundering Titan. That was good. That was a good game. That was a good one. Wasn't that good. Um, we did. We literally saw no non-basic lands. Oh, what up, Jimmy the Mole? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm, bow, bow. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Oh, yeah, we can sack Sundering Titan, and then, uh, I mean, we could literally have done it that turn if we survived one more turn, right? Like, we had, like, five lands in play, and Jace would easily flip that turn, so we can go Jace, flip, target Tinker, attack with Sundering Titan, Tinker the Sundering Titan, kill their three lands, get an Inkwell. It seems what problem is. <coughs> Bout, bout, keep. Just realized this is you. I'm a fan. Also, first time drafting Storm, dude. I've drafted Storm numerous times, and it's still a mess for me. I'm like, oh, I don't know what's going to happen anymore. Ooh. I can Metalworker on two, and also uh, Preordain. I like it.
I get a relaxation. I want to bottom this. I'm going to keep this because the next turn we can just play Battle Sphere if this guy survives and probably play Emery as well. Show some love to the hash browns. <laughs> also, I'm a huge fan of your food. It's delicious. It's so tasty. Oh, they're going to kill us now? I never know. You never know. No one ever knows. The answer was no. We are not dead. Reveal dupe and a dupe. Two dupes. This is four, five, six, seven. Big battle. Big battle beer. Put your boys on the playing field. We're keeping this because you might want to just discard it to here. We don't really need the mana for anything, so. Oh, we hit a Boros Signet and a Forge Masty. All right. What is this a turn? This is a turn three battle sphere. That's good. Mana flare. Oh boy. Okay, well, let's thirst here. Can we Leviathan here? Oh, we can Duretti, though. Shut up and take my money. Oh. Have some hash browns on me. Literally have hash browns stream where you eat hash browns while draft. <laughs> I'm being serious. I want you to eat hash browns. Quit messing around, Frank. Eat the hash browns. Sacrifice an artifact. This guy. This guy. Okay. I mean, that seems good. They're basically dead in many ways. Suddenly. There's beauty up above. But things will never take notice. We wish my deck did something. <laughs> <Good luck. laughs> okay. Well, sometimes hash browns just aren't as delicious as you'd think. No, that's not true. They're always fucking delicious. Hash browns are always banging. All right. Wake up. Hash browns are so good, man. They're literally one of the best forms of potatoes. I might actually take hash browns over like french fries. Oh, what up, Shoe Garner? See, this draft is already starting out so much better than your last one. Buddy, you could say that about a lot of their drafts this season. This has been a mess of a season. You know what? I'll keep this. Inherently wrong. Factually wrong. Just no. I'm sorry, dude. I love hash browns. I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Hash browns are delicious. And I think you're... You think you... <laughs> I, that's true. I do. Yeah, that's right. That's right. If we get an artifact next turn, on turn four, we can activate Metal Worker, tap our four mana, reveal two, and then play Sundarino. 
Why are people hating on hash browns? It's just badger. I don't want all of... Oh my god, maybe we should have let that resolve because of Sundering Titan? Oh man. Did we mess up? Likely. Oh man. Dryad with friggin' Sundering Titan? We just kill five other lands. Ugh, I was really hoping for an artifact there. <laughs> oh my god. See, I thought of it. It was just too late by that point. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to take a Jace and then just play the Jace. I don't need to show them this because if they don't think we have any artifacts, maybe it's less of a threat to them and Dang it. Well, they got six mana total here. Oh, that's a good one. That's really good, actually. <sighs> Unfortunate. So, okay, we just threw this game away, and I'm going to explain to you how. They could have played Dryad. If we didn't counter it, we could have impulsed and put Kuldoth the Forge Master into our hand. The following turn, we would have been able to play Sundering Titan and nuke all five of our lands. So we're able to literally see where we messed up. Okay. Well, that's not going to do it. And we have seven mana now. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so we could steal the elf? Oh, God. I'm just really sad because this game could have been epic and we could have literally killed five of their lands with Sundering Titan. I guess four, because they only have four lands. But nevertheless, it would make it significantly harder for them to play Sword of Fire and Ice. I'm also very distracted by chat, so it's, it's hard. It's hard. We got a lot going on. And we're just passing here. I mean, it sucks, but I, I can't treachery this thing. Can't play Sundering Titan, so, I mean, what are our options, really? Yep. It sucks butt, you're right. Well, the one creature I want to steal, they can sacrifice. This is, see, this is not going well. Yeah, okay. That'll do, pig. The one time I draw a land, we would have actually had, what, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We could actually cast Inkwell Leviathan here. Yeah, everything was a turn too late, so. We could bring in Wasteland. We saw, like, a couple bit non-basics. Wake up suddenly. You're in love. I'm gonna keep this hand. I'll pitch an island for a for a mox diamond here. And then we can impulse. That goose did get angry. It's almost like the video game has come to life. 
Easy. Easy game, easy life. Oh dang, are they gonna are they gonna spell pierce my preordain? No. Okay. Um I'm gonna bottom both of these, I think. They just don't do anything for us right now. That guy does though. Alright, this is good. Okie dokie. Sure. I'm just gonna end the turn thirst here. Oh man, double gym? This is so much gym time. Oh my god. Where's a pyroclasm when you need it? It's the next day here. Yeah, that's true, but you went late last night, so. Oh wow. They're doing everything. What is this, Leovold? Guaranteed Leovold. That's better. I'm definitely going to steal that guy, though. Ooh, an artifact. Basalty boy. All right. Seems good. I can't imagine they have that many ways to deal with this. This stolen tracker. Oh, I mean, maybe they do. They probably have like a acidic slime. Yeah, Primeval Titan's good. Kind of wish I stole that guy, but... I guess we can just bounce that dude next turn. That seems good. Oh, we can bounce our treachery and then replay it on the Titan. I don't hate that. It's always yield to that. I think we're just bouncing the Titan, actually. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Just yesterday morning. They let me know you were gone. Soon plans they made put into you. No, I've seen fire and I've seen rain. Seen primeval titans that I want to counter again. Yep, don't like that. Mm-hmm. Yep, this is pretty rough. Sure. Yep, pretty sure we're not able to physically win this anymore. It's 
It's not bad. See, this age conversation in chat's kind of funny because we're getting to a point where like all the people who have played Magic for a while and who have been into the game are between like 30 and 40 and we're still playing a game and we're still watching people play a game on the internet. So it's like, I, I've i had this age conversation a lot where like I feel older than I actually, or I, I, I feel older than I am because I look at my parents and like my parents had kids and they owned a house by the time they were like 35 or whatever. And I'm sitting here like in a rental home, you know, I'm getting ready to move again in June and you know, I'm playing magic, the gathering on the internet with people. And it's just like, it's a point where it's like our generation behaves completely differently than the previous generation. And for me in my life, like that's always made me feel less accomplished. Like I've always felt like I've done less than my parents and I'm like way far behind. It's going to be a land. It's a Doretti. A Doretti. I had long times when I could not find a friend. But I always thought that I'd see you again. I own a home and have two kids. I'm your parents and I'm hanging out here. Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. But like, so even so, like, you are, you are, you've embodied that, like, that older, like, life plan, right? Where you're like, have kids, settle down, get married, have a steady job, you know, like, buy, own a home. Like, those are the things. Like, steady job married kids and home those are like the four life accomplishments that we've always been like taught but so anyway the point is for me i've always felt like i'm like behind the curve because of that But looking back at how my parents came to America and achieved what they did and raised these kids, man, I have, that's the thing, right? Like, if you look back at, like, not maybe not my parents, but, like, my grandparents and their parents, like, that generation, who were, like, literal immigrants, <coughs> I'm like, how the fuck did you even do it? Like, it's so insane <coughs> to just, like, leave a country you've never, you know, you've never been to, to leave a country for a country you've never been to. This is going to be cool when our ancestral visions come off and we can't do anything because of Leopold. That's unfortunate. I guess we get to draw one. So that's. Yeah. That's funsies. <laughs> Good times. Everything is all right. Let's get in there with these two. One, two, three, four, everybody. Deal some damage. It's an 8-7, so they just got to probably chum block or something. Oh, they're just going to pay 9, 10, 10 mana for something, huh? <laughs> Okie dokie. I have no idea what's happening right now. It's the economic difference. You know, like a little time when a person leaving high school can get a 50k job. It's 100% true, yeah. Like, if I could have left high school or college even and, like, jumped into a job market making, like, 70k or something, like... Yeah, cool, man. I'll do that. But I literally, like, once I graduated college and, you know, I have a degree now, but, like, I'm still just working on, like, gig jobs. I'm like, oh, cool. I'll, I'll do this job. I'll write an article. I'll, you know, do a pod. Like, whatever, right? Like, have yourself a merry little Christmas. Get this guy back now. It's like soul ring, I guess. What are they going to do? They're going to kill my battle sphere? Oh, they're just going to gain some life. Sure. Because now they're taking... This is still 10 damage, which is pretty cool.
I have a degree and I don't make any money. I do, but not like because I picked up a job that required it from me. You know what I mean? Like. Hmm. I see. I have an associate in psychology, so I can run a sandwich shop. Huh. That's pretty good. You got it. I feel like this game is actually a little more complex than it looked at first. Interesting. To make sure there's no onboard tricks here. Marriage and kids is another step in your life that's completely different from when you were single. Do you mean when you were single or do you mean from like previous generation? Because I, I think marriage is definitely going to be different from when you're single for sure. That's just how that works. discouraging oh I forgot about the trample therefore it already dies I'm pretty sure that's game like they can just attack us for like a million next turn yeah alright I mean that was a rough matchup I know we threw away the first game and then the second game was just really hard to deal with when we have when they have um <laughs> Leovold a few turns before we get our ancestral online <clears throat> there is a lot of noise it's very very true it's really funny how much more noise like back in the day think about it like you'd work your job right you go home you would just sit in a room you know like you have a tv right that's it that's your sole connection to the outside world other than like a newspaper or ha like having a chat with someone on the phone but like, it's so much more limited. Like I have like 40 tabs open right now. I have magic online in front of me. I have this live chat with people going on to the left. You know what I mean? Like I have my phone here for anyone who wants to, to send me a message, right? Like there's so much going on. There's just like so much happening. It's pretty crazy, dude. So you're saying you sell your children to be eaten? <laughs> oh, God. Good times. Just to, just to be clear, Nifty Chris was actually sending a message earlier asking for, for feet pics, and it was, it was pretty weird. If he wasn't one of my best friends, I'd probably have blocked him. But, you know. That's actually an interesting point. 100 and something, 120, 30 people. Like, that is about the size of like a small comedy club. That's, you said that was a secret. <laughs> Can I get me? Oh, dear. This is, this is the, this is how my parody OnlyFans got started, guys. Let's see what we got here. 
Oh, Mox Diamond. Like, we can actually play it this turn, but then we can't do anything with it. We can keep both of these and play the Mox Diamond next turn still, but then we have three mana and it still doesn't do anything. Because this, is a bl this isn't a blue signet, it's a, it's a red-white signet, so we can't cast any of our blue spells off of it. I think we're going to bottom this, and we're just going to keep this. Parody. <laughs> that's not that's not funny. Don't. No. Okay, what's this? Yavamaya Elder, huh? You know what? I'll allow it. That's what makes Twitch such a bizarre concept to me when I actually sit down and think about it. When I'm streaming and there's only, only 11 people, that's like a dozen people coming over to my house. I agree with you. Yeah, like, it, there's, there's still... 11 people in the world that are like literally focusing on your content right at that moment you know it's still weird it's such a crazy concept okay well that's pretty good don't really have a way to deal with that thing <sighs> I guess I can bounce it I once you have kids, you look back at your life before and ask, what was I doing with my life before? Well, like, in what sense, though? Like, how do you mean? Tell me about it, Michael. So we play this for six. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that makes sense. Um, unfortunately, right? Like, again, like the stupid blue signet. It would be great if we could mana leak something, but... 4,000 people follow your cat on Facebook? That's Shut more up, than my my, my public money. Facebook page. Five feet pick bugs. Send me them feedback. <laughs> oh god, this, this stream's going in a really weird direction right now. I'm not comfortable with any of it. <clears throat> oh my god, 38. I'm pretty sure I've seen this cat before. No, you might have just linked me to it, actually. I'm pretty sure you just linked me to it. <clears throat> Can I tell you that one of the reasons that I've always been reluctant to have kids is that I'm, I was afraid that I wouldn't put them first? And I think that's unreasonable. I think I know I would. But I think there's so many things I still want to do and accomplish and have happen that my fear is that I would put those things first and it wouldn't be fair or right to, to kids. Does that make sense? Like, Oh, are you coming down next turn? Next turn land. Too good. Too good. I do want kids. I definitely do. Like, there's definitely a part of me that's like, you better fucking hurry up, buddy. You're running out of time. <sighs> Four cards in hand. Like, a land here would have been so good. Just get more dogs, buddy. We don't. We have three dogs. I do not need more dogs. I am dogged out right now. All right, we're taking the turn off to see what happens. Get more cats. <laughs> All right, I'm liking Phyrexian Obliterator's page. It's weird that this is a Phyre this this page has four thousand likes, but his name is Phyrexian Obliterator, which probably, um does not resonate with a lot of people. Like a lot of people probably go to this page and they're like, I don't know what a Phyrexian obliterator is, but the cat's cute. So that's cool. Okay. They're just playing a bunch of junk here. So they played a forest.
What happened? Catch me up. Catch me upside. How about that? <clears throat> Cast you. Oh, this guy's in our hand. That's no good. Oh, this guy's in our hand. That's no good. So we can kill all three of these? Huh. Does not seem terrible. Boy, a land would really be really be nice. Little Tinky. It's got to be Sundering Titan here, right? Oh, we could actually copy the Omnath. Yeah, we could still do that in the future. Get to keep up Mana Lake, which is actually significantly better now that they have fewer lands. So let's do that. Get in there, you little bird. Oh boy. Sorry for all the distractions. Yeah, how dare you guys elaborate on topics that I bring up myself. Unbelievable. Oh, responsibility is 100% a good thing. No, bro. See, this is why we protected this. One, two. I still only have four lands, though, which is not ideal. All right, well, they have five cards. All right, <clears throat> see what happens. I mean, Danny, if that's your outlook, like that's totally fine. And like, that's, that's a good reason to not have a significant other or kids, right? Being aware of that and then not getting into a relationship. Oh God. Or, you know, not getting into a, you know, uh, a parenthood, <laughs> if you will, uh, is the correct choice, you know? I feel like this is another deck that's capable of so much more. Wow. Oh, wow. That's what we needed to hit. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, get rid of 4G. Play a land. Now, what are our options? We can tinker again.
Which I think we have to. The only other option is like thirst here, so yeah, let's tinker. I mean, I wish Mere Battlesphere and Inkwell Leviathan weren't in our hand, but. We've got Metamorph here. Metamorph's probably the only thing we can really take advantage of here. All right. I'm just going to pass here. If they have... Oh, no, they just... Nah, they can't do that yet. They need to have a creature. If they have a creature, we're dead. So... I got to land. Guys, you think it's going to be a deranged tournament? Okay. Dunzy. Yep. I don't know why you paid a million mana and then just had a creature to kill us with. But what can you do? I mean, we have 17 lands and a Mox Diamond and a Soul Ring. I don't, I'm not sure what the problem is with the land draws. We're either drawing a million lands or not enough lands, but... I actually kind of like Chandra. <laughs> What's our plan here? Turn one. Yeah, we'll keep this. Or do we play Emery here? Interesting. Yeah, well, let's Emery it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Magic's a cool game. Oh, fuck my life. There's five lands in a row. Do you think he'll ever see another land? No, probably not. Oh, wow. I guess I'm a dum dum. Okay, well, I guess there were f five lands in a row. Totally reasonable amount of lands. Should have attacked there. I'm I'm kind of on tilt from this from this draft, unfortunately. It was a Knight of Autumn. Oh, a, a finale for one. What do you get, Arbor Elf? Skip from Milwaukee. Thanks for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Elvish Mystic, huh? Okay. So... Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. For all the distractions, I appreciate you, man. Um, I think we're just getting rid of Signet here. How much mana is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're just going to get rid of Signet. You're the biggest part of me. So next time we can play Inkwell. Unless they kill Meta Walker. Meta, Meta Walker. They can't actually cast an Omnath off of this Elvish Mystic. So they'll have to play a land first. Which means... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Shua Garner just sent me this message. Oh, God. So fucking good, dude. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. That's actual hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so good.
Where's the lie? Oh, good. They killed Metal Worker, which is the one thing I didn't want them to do. Okay. Well, you got it. <laughs> Joke's on you. He's back. Let's go out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I didn't play a land for some reason. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, if we draw a land, I'm gonna feel real dumb, but Seems good. Shut up and take my money. To help you with all those tiny little angelic babies in their tiny little beds. So <laughs> Hunter's in his bed right now, actually. Okay, well. That's not ideal, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four. We're just gonna play Metamorph here. Oh, the future babies. Oh, I thought we meant I thought we were talking about doggies, because those are kinda like my babies. Doggy babies. I'm gonna kill this. I'm gonna kill this Temple Garden too to limit what their their options are. No, the future babies. Oh, good. Let's crack that immediately because you know, gotta get your blood crypt. Mm -hmm. Oh, it took two. So now they're just gonna kill Dragonlord and Tarka. Oh, they're gonna Golos. Also, not the worst, I guess. You know what's even better than 16? 14. It's not as easily divisible, but that's okay. Oh, fascinating. So if we go to, f we go to 12 and then they can attack with both and kill us. So that's not great. I also have a three, five for five. All right, what can we go get? Mirror Battle Sphere, Sundering Titan. That's a hell of a card. Oh yeah, I guess we did the three five, but I mean, I don't know. They'd still be putting us to one because we have to block the, we block the four four, we'd still take three from Golos. Oh, fucking high roll. Okie dokie. Yep. Did not attack with Raging Ravine there. Well, that checks out.
so they can just get back Dragon Lord of Tarka. That's pretty cool. I'm actually shocked this deck has performed as poorly as it has. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've misplayed a couple times due to distractions, but nevertheless, like, still kind of mind blowing to me. Oh, we have a Metamorph in the bin. They can just get that back and copy and quell. Yeah, that's cool too. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Residency school supplies. And yeah, Tokyo, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah, considering we're moving in June, uh, that's definitely helpful because <laughs> moving sucks. So, dude, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I didn't even know you were in the chat. I don't even see you. Yep. Yep, we are moving again in June. Oh, we don't have <laughs> Badger, I love you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why? <laughs> I can't even handle it, man. You guys are ridiculous. Oh, uh, we are not moving back to Florida, no. Katie, uh, we're going to be moving. So she hasn't made it public, so don't say anything. Um, please, please don't say anything or, or comment or anything. Um, Kurt, you know we're moving. Um... So yeah, don't don't say anything, please, because it hasn't been made public. But um, yeah, Katie got a residency at um, CSU, which is Colorado State University. Uh, so we're still in Colorado, but we're going to be half. We're it's like an it's like an hour and a half north of us. So actually, all things considered, not the worst move. Mike, actually, um, East Washington was definitely an option. WSU which is in like Pullman, which is like right over the mountain. It's like four hours from Seattle. That was actually an option. And I was kind of excited about it. Cause I could like literally come visit you guys for like weekends and stuff. And I was like super excited Shut about it. Take my money. Frank's moving fun. Also get hash. <laughs> is this one of those anonymous internet announcements so far? Yes. I don't want to ruin her surprise for like her friends and family and stuff. Obviously her close family knows, but she wants to make sure it's like 100% official. And the offer is like, there's a contract and everything. Um, so they're going to nug us for seven. We're going to block here and block here. I think we just have to play Sphinx here. Could we untap this? No, I don't think so. Uh, yes, Mike is just going to come with us. There's, I mean, Mike is like, honestly, it's, it's a weird situation where like Mike has just been my roommate for a long time, but also like there's no reason for him not to be as well. Because, like, he definitely helps out with rent. He helps around the house. If we have to go do something, he watches the pets. Like, it's just a great, it's just a great convenient thing to have an extra friend, like, helping you around the house, you know? Plus, like, it allows us to get a bigger place. Like, it's, it's just a cool bonus, you know? He's a good guard dog. It's true. Yeah. You have a roommate. What year is it? 2021, in fact. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That doesn't kill anything. Um, yeah, sure. You got it. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. The CSU is in Fort Collins. So it's not... It's, it's Colorado State University, not CU, which I assume would be Colorado University. I guess they're different. It's really, we can deal 11 damage here if we bounce the Dragon Lord of Tarka. That's kind of funny, actually. Wow. I mean, but we'd be we'd be dead otherwise. Like if they didn't, I guess they had to use the black to bring this guy back. With we have we have burn to draw. No, we have no burn to draw. Unfortunately.
<sighs> There's no way they can die during their own upkeep, right? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's nothing in our deck that's gonna kill them, right? Like it's kind of annoying. Bouncing God doesn't do anything, unfortunately. Yes, we are dead to the Island Walker. That's what I'm trying to figure out. That's what I'm saying here. I mean, I'm gonna give myself the option to draw the top two, but I'm pretty sure we're just dead here. So another one, two, even with a great deck. I don't know. Maybe it's me this season. Maybe I'm just fucking playing terribly and I it's very much an option, but I really feel like they're just kind of having it all whenever they need it. <laughs> Might as well dig. Thanks for watching, guys. <sighs> yeah, cool. I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.